What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to look at all of the equipment from the gray ones and I'm going to show you every single location where you can learn the recipes for these armors and for all of their weapons in this video. But before I get into that, I want to show you the stats on all this stuff and show you why you want the weapons of the gray ones. So let's jump right into it. Now there are 13 different recipes that you can learn. One is the armor, the rest are going to be weapons. So let's jump into it. We have the armor, the gray ones, mask, shoulders, armbands, kilt, and foot wraps. Now this is light armor, and as you can see, it gives you a varying set of stats. It's gonna be agility and grit. So this is actually armor that I just spawned in. It gives me a total of 203 in a light version. So if we look at the attributes here, you can see I have three in agility and four in grit. Now this isn't an armor that you can craft with more stats to it because you actually craft it at a forge that is located somewhere on the map and I'll show you that later on in the video. Now so far in my playthrough, I've only had the helmet and the foot wraps drop from killing the enemies. However, the Weapons drop quite a bit, so let's go through the weapons here. First of all, we have the spear. It does 62 health damage, 9% armor pen, 1400 in durability, and you can see it says bleed on here, okay? And everything should say bleed on here, except for the bow. It gives you a bonus accuracy. There's no additional bleed with the bow, but you can see health damage of 28 and 9% with the bow. If we move over to the short sword, it has health damage of 78, 18% of armor penetration, 900 durability. Over to the katana, health damage of 66 and armor penetration of 13. The axe is 66% damage, zero armor penetration. The mace is 62 damage, 27% armor penetration. The Sword of the Grey One, 62 damage and 9% armor penetration. The Great Axe of the Grey Ones, look at this, 93 damage, 0 armor penetration, and it does bleed. That thing's going to be mean. The Warhammer of the Grey Ones, 70 damage, 31% armor pen. The Great Sword of the Grey Ones is 78 damage and 22% armor pen. The Shield of the Grey Ones... 55 damage, 13% armor pen, and it's got this thing called reactive bleed. Yes, I'll show you exactly what that means here in a moment. The daggers of the gray ones, 55 damage and 18% armor pen. Now I wanna show you this just real quick with these stone daggers. So I've got this lady here. She's my test dummy. You can see two hits is two bleed with these daggers. If I swap over to the daggers of the gray ones, just so we can compare those real quick, we're going to let that bleed wear off, and then we're going to hit her again with these daggers. Now, one thing to know about these daggers is that it is going to do bleed every time you hit. It does not have to be a heavy strike. So, let's do the same combo. And you can see the bleed that was stacked on her is actually double. So we got four bleed instead of the two bleed. And if I just go up and tap her again one time with a light strike, you see it's up to six bleed. So these daggers stack bleed the fastest out of any other daggers that I've found in the game thus far. So let's jump into some of these other weapons here. So we're going to get into the mace and we're going to do, uh, we'll, we'll leave the shield off for now. So we'll just get into the mace and we're going to hit her like that. Now, you can see it has stacked bleed. If I get all the way up to the point where it's going to apply sunder, boom, there's a sunder attack. You can see she's got the eight bleed and she has the two sunder. So this is a very bad day for her if she's trying to affect me in any way because I am able to stack these things on her way faster than she's gonna be able to do anything to me. And everything adds that bleed. So if I do that, if I go over to the short sword, boom, she gets bleed. And if I go over to the regular sword, boom, she gets bleed. So everything is giving her a bleed debuff. Now, let's go ahead and get the shield out and the mace, and we're gonna uncloak. I'm gonna let her go ahead and come at me and boom, I've blocked an attack. Now watch her bleed continue to go up, right? Now I'm in God mode, so she can't actually do any damage to me, but 
you can see as she is blocked by the shield, her bleed continues to go up. So I can literally just stand here and block her attacks the entire time and her bleed is going to continue to stack. So this is a really cool shield, especially for PvE. If you're facing this shield in PvP, you definitely want to get behind your target or switch tactics. So I really just want to end this interaction with the two-handed axe because I think this thing is just going to go crazy. So let's get into this and oh my goodness, look at this. Every single hit is stacking a bleed on there, which means before I run out of stamina, she's going to have 20 bleed. This is an amazing weapon. And not only that, it's doing a ton of damage. So my suggestion on this one, definitely get some armor penetration kit on there and just go up and wreck shop on whatever is in your way. That thing is absolutely amazing. She's gonna just bleed out there. There she goes. Let's get into the locations where you can learn all of these recipes. All right, so real quick, I wanna show you where to come to craft all of this stuff. Should you wanna do that, you're gonna to come to one of the Forges of the First Men. And those are located right here in 6F. It's this section here that has the three circles in it. Each one of those circles is going to be a separate forge. So what you wanna do is just run up to the brazier here. You can see it says Forge of the First Men. All the recipes that you've learned of the gray ones are going to be in here. In addition, you're going to have the recipe for composite obsidian. Now there's an interesting thing going on with the recipe in here because it actually requires a perfected heavy padding. But if you remember, the armor is actually light. So it's a light armor rating but it asks for a heavy padding currently. So keep that in mind if you're gonna come out here and craft it. And I did double check that it wasn't a different armor. And this is one that I crafted right here in the forge with a perfected heavy padding. Okay, so the first location that I'm gonna bring you to find these recipes is right here on the map. For whatever reason, I couldn't get the location to come up when I was running through here earlier. I believe it's called the Proving Grounds but I will show you the two locations that have recipes in this area and then we'll move on. So if we come in here and we head right down these stairs, there's usually a boss that stands right here, so be wary of that, but the dagger recipe is right here and you just interact with that in order to learn the daggers. Now, if we run back out, what I wanna do, I actually wanna go up here and just admin kill one of these guys because I do wanna show you where to get the blackened heart. And you can actually see he dropped a partially used shield. And I'm actually gonna take that so I can show you how you can repair this stuff before you have uh, really the ability to go over and craft it. So if we hit this guy right here, he's gonna drop a blackened heart when we harvest him. So we'll we'll go ahead and smack this guy as well. And these guys drop a lot of weapons. Here's a short sword of the gray ones as well. So I definitely recommend picking them up. What I've actually been doing is dismantling those. And there we go, the proving grounds. I've been dismantling those and using the obsidian to repair my weapons, which is what I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit later on because all you have to do is know the recipe in order to be able to really repair it. So this is the location for the katana right there. And again, this is at the proving grounds right here and that's in 5J. The next area that I'm gonna take you to is right out here. This is the broken temple and that's in J4. It's just straight south basically from the last location. And you're gonna come up this little pathway. You wanna get up to this area here. So we're gonna go up the first set of stairs and take a left and over here, right there, you're gonna find the spear of the gray ones. If we then go up the stairs and right next to this rubble, in this rubble here, that is the short sword of the gray ones. And then if we go down these stairs and around this rubble here, you can see we have the shield of the gray ones. Now that I've learned the shield of the gray ones, what we're actually able to do with composite obsidian is just click repair you are going to need alchemical base, but as long as you have the composite obsidian and the alchemical base, 
for this item, you are able to repair it. And not all of them require alchemical base. So we use the mace, we should be able to repair it. No, let's see. What items are damaged enough? Anything, nothing is damaged enough to repair right now. I will have to damage a weapon so that I can show you that. Okay, so I just have this great sword of the gray ones here, and you can see I just picked it up off one of the enemies, and I've got the composite obsidian. So if we just click repair, since I know this recipe, it only requires me to have the composite obsidian in my inventory. And yes, I have done this prior to being level 60. Really, when you can get your hands on the weapon, and you can get your hands on the resource, and you've come out and learned the recipe, you'll be able to repair it. So the next location just south of the Broken Temple is East Light. It goes all the way out into the water here. That's gonna be in J three and four, kind of right on the line there. And what we're gonna wanna do is fight our way through this entire section. So we're going to continue to run past all these guys, forget about them, we'll just kill them on the way. And then as we're headed down the stairs, you wanna stop right here and you want to learn the mace. The mace is right there, boom, we move on, we keep heading down the stairs, and obviously I'm in god mode, I'm in cloak mode, these guys aren't attacking me, but when you come out here, they are going to attack you. So, we take a right once we get down here, and boom, there is the sword. Alright, so we're going to bounce back up here to the spawning pools of the Grey Ones, or the pools of the Grey Ones. This is where you're going to come to spawn in massive enemies in order to kill them. But what we're going to do is we're going to just run through the first set of doors there. So the first archway there, up the stairs, and then take a left and head down the stairs. You are going to see this big giant scorpion here on the left hand side. Go ahead and fight him, run up to this. This is where you learn the banner of the gray one. So the gray one banner is right there. That's just a bonus recipe for you. But if you continue going down this direction and take a hard right here, you're going to find the great sword of the gray ones right there. Boom. Okay. So the next one is actually really close to this. We're just going to go back out. We're going to take a left. There's this block right here, this pile of rubble, this dilapidated building. We want to get right inside that guy right there. Now, this was the one that took me the longest to find, but there, right there, is the bow of the gray one. So, boom, there's that. Now, there's one more recipe that you're going to want to get in this location. And I'll go ahead and run you to it because if I don't run you to it, you might get confused. So we are now headed to the opposite side of the spawning pools and we're going to head all the way in the back. You can see there's a campfire up there and we want to head towards that campfire. And obviously there's plenty to kill in this area, but once you get up to this guy here right there, just take a hard right, boom, there is the armor of the gray ones or the gray one armor. However, they decided to type it. Some of the stuff is this of the gray ones and some of the stuff is gray one this. All right, for this last one here, I'm gonna direct you to this one from the spawning pool or the pool of the gray ones. It's the farthest east one here. It's the third pool right here. And we're just gonna run away from this pool and take a left. And if you head to this corner, right here this is where you're going to find the great axe of the gray ones okay so this next area is called west light we are down here on the map it's basically the line of three and four in k and this area is mighty confusing so follow along with me instead of going up the stairs here drop down over the side run over to these stairs over here and then once you reach the top of these stairs here's the warhammer go ahead and learn that and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so once we have the war hammer, what we can do is I'm just going to go back to the beginning here. So if we go back to this front area here, and what you're going to do is just run right towards this tall building here. And at the top of these stairs on the right hand side next to this creepy dude, we will find the axe of the gray ones. 
So there you go, there's all the locations for the Grey One weapons and armor and everything that you can learn from the Grey Ones as far as I can tell. This is at least the most important stuff I think because these weapons are epic. I'm really hoping that they leave them alone and they don't change them at all because I do find them very unique and very handy and I don't want to see them get nerfed. You guys let me know what you think of the Grey One weapons in the comment section below. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters, thank you very much much. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not a subscriber, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video. Now, if you're not done watching, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.